There is a lot of talk about building a personal brand out there right now, and I often wonder if it's really important to grow in your business or not. Our next guest says it absolutely is, and she's here to tell us why and then how to do it. Dory Clark is a marketing strategist and adjunct professor of business administration at Duke University's Fuqua School of Business. Good to see you, Dory. Thanks, JJ. I, I like this topic because I'm a little bit confused by it, right? I, I, in the old days, you could just have a great company, right? There was Martha Stewart, for instance, her brand was her personal brand, but if you were building, uh, you know, dishwashers, you didn't have to be out there. Your dishwasher spoke for itself. So why do we need to think about our personal brands? Well, a personal brand is important these days for business owners for a few reasons. Number one, the competition for top talent is enormous. And if you have a strong personal brand as being a good, innovative, forward-thinking leader, that incentivizes the right talent to want to come to work for you. It's a competitive advantage. The same thing goes with finding investment. Investors, th there's a, a long-standing saying, you, you bet on the jockey, not on the horse. They want a business leader that is able to drive the business forward. If you have a strong brand, that's enormously so helpful. So it's interesting. So it's not necessarily to the consumers you're talking about. I mean, there might be something to get your consumers, people to buy your product, but it's really about running your business. You're talking. Okay, so now let's get to the how-tos. Number one, you say express what you want to be known for. Yes, the, the starting place, many people think wrongly that personal branding is about looking out into the world and saying, well, what does the world want me to be and how can I pretend to be that? That's where it gets knocked because people say, well, it's about phoniness or inauthenticity. That couldn't be further from the truth. First, it's about clarifying what your values are, what's most important to you, and, and really saying, okay, here are my strengths in the world and how can I better share them and portray them to people. Got it, that makes sense. Assemble your mentor tour board of directors? Yes. So everybody in business these days knows that having a mentor is important. But I think that there are some misconceptions about mentorship. Many people think that it has to be this one perfect person that represents everything you want to be in the world. But that's a unicorn. Most of us never find that. Instead, I advocate having a mentor board of directors, meaning looking for the people around you that you like and respect, but not necessarily you want to be everything they are. It's about taking the skills and talents they have and learning those facets from them and then this goes after your next uh, your last point about emulate your role models pick who you want to be like and you've got these great people to go out there and and use as examples that's right and you can think really broadly about this your role models could be the people in front of you so some people in your mentor board of directors they also could be historical figures yeah. that you learn about from reading biographies it could be people that you know just slightly in your industry but are a few years ahead of you they're where you want to be and you can begin to uh, to stalk them in a, in a good way, you know, look on their social media feed, see what organizations they're involved in, see what activities they're doing, and you can begin to model yourself so that you can get some of the same results. Okay, two more. Set up a Google alert on yourself. Yes, very, very easy, simple, free. Uh, you can t literally type the phrase Google alert into Google and uh, set one up for your name and the name of your business. This will alert you every time it's mentioned on the internet. That way, if there is incorrect information, you can correct it fast. If there's someone saying something nice about you, you can thank them rapidly. It helps you keep a pulse on your online reputation. Okay, and then finally, create long form content. I mean, which is hard, I think, for some people, but it's a, it gives you a chance to be thoughtful about things and, and put them on paper, which, which organizes your own thoughts. That's exactly right. This is a point I make in my book, Stand Out, that it's very easy for people to send a 140-character tweet and, and feel like they're, they're being productive and getting their ideas out there. But what really distinguishes you, what lets your customers and the people around you see that you have valuable ideas, is creating long-form content, blogs or podcasts or videos that share your perspective and your ideas in a deep way. That's what enables people to look at it and say, I love that. I have to do business with him or with her. Right. And by the way, if you're not a fabulous writer, you can get some someone to edit it. Anytime, that's it. right. Right, okay, this is great. Thank you so much, Dory, good to see you. Thanks.